All right, guys, welcome back. Taylor here again. Out here this evening working on some reloads. Thought y'all might want to take a look at one of my favorite revolvers that I have. This is a Ruger SP-101 and 357 Magnum. This is the three inch barreled version. As you can see right here, Ruger SP-101 and 357 Magnum. Of course, you can also shoot 38 Special in here. And just so we can see guys, we are clear. I just have some snap caps in here for practice and trigger control. Uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, we this this is an excellent revolver for the money, guys. Anybody who has one of these will know this revolver is just excellent. I, I have the 357 here, of course. I haven't shot any of the other calibers that this revolver comes in, but I've seen and heard nothing but but great things about this revolver, guys. Um, you can get this in uh, some shorter and some longer barrelings. I believe they make up to a five inch. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think they make as short as a two or a two and, and, and a quarter inch uh, as the shortest, I believe. And again, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, but this is a three inch model. I don't, I'm not a really a huge fan of the super snubbies, but I didn't want anything with a really long barrel. I kind of wanted to try this in between. And this thing is, is excellent. This is a great range gun. Um, I have carried this before. I bought this just mainly as a, as a range toy, so to speak. This is an extremely accurate revolver for what it is. Um, I can easily hit steel at 50 yards with this plus it's really comfortable to shoot uh, 357 mags really comfortable really really comfortable especially with 38 specials i do a lot of hand loading um and this revolver just shoots really really excellently now you may notice if you've seen these in other places this one looks a little bit different and that's because uh, one of the only issues i have with this revolver is that when you buy it uh, they come with this um uh, less than ideal grip so, uh, so to speak this is just uh it's a really small grip and just kind of feels uh just feels kind of cheap on the revolver guys i don't want to sound you know any type of way but that's the only way i know to describe it just kind of feels the revolver feels nice and quality and meaty but then you have this tiny little grip on here you know i really don't i really don't understand it for me it's just not very comfortable when i go to shoot it i have you know somewhat large hands when i go to shoot this my pinky just kind of dangles around down here and it's really not it's really not ideal when you shoot this the uh, I just don't feel like I have as much control with this, guys. So I went to something else, of course. This is the Hogue uh, rubber grip, of course. This is their over mold. Um, and you can see it has finger grooves for all three fingers down here. Of course, your trigger finger is out here. Got one for the middle, the ring, and the pinky finger. And you can see with this, I've got a really great purchase on that with all fingers. And that just it feels like you have a really, really good control on this revolver when you're shooting it with this grip. This just made it, it's almost like a whole new gun, guys. Just an excellent, excellent grip. I would highly recommend it if you don't like the uh, factory grip, of course. And again, that's a ho grip. Uh, they just have it here as Ruger SP-101 five-shot revolver. And there's some information on the back if you guys care to read that. Um, otherwise, I have also changed uh, the springs out in here. I went with the Wolf, let's see what I have here. I went with the Wolf Revolver Shooters Pack, the reduced power set. It uh, comes with uh, different springs for your hammer and trigger. Uh, when this gun comes to you stock, it doesn't have a horrible uh, trigger pull or, or anything like that, but it's just not very uh, smooth, I guess, would be how I would describe it. But now, uh, if you just take a look, again, where our safe guys just have snap caps in there. If you take a look at this double action pull, very, very smooth all the way back to we get right here and we break clean. Here's the reset right here. If you guys take another look, right there's our break and then there's our reset. Again, this isn't any type of, of match gun or anything, guys. This is a, it's not a budget revolver, but this isn't like a, this is not a, a Smith & Wesson Performance Center or anything like that or a really high-end Ruger. This is kind of the working man's revolver, so to speak. I'll give you guys a good look at that single action as well. That's a really crisp, clean break. Really nice, and there's our reset. Get another look at that right quick. Really, really smooth, just a awesome single action and double action trigger. This revolver is really, really accurate as well, guys. I can shoot this at the range all day long. Um, ring steel at 50 plus yards with, with ease. Um, I just can't say enough good things about it. We'll take a quick look at the sight picture real quick so you guys can see. As you can see right there, really nice sight picture. Maybe just a little white on that front blade, perhaps, to see it a little bit better during uh, shooting at the range, but otherwise, excellent sights. Just wanted to bring this revolver to you guys really quick. Maybe you're in the, revol in the market for a new revolver, a three-inch revolver. Again, they do make shorter and longer barrels, but if you're in the market for a revolver, I would highly recommend taking a look at the Ruger SP-101. They have multiple different calibers. This is the 357-38, of course. Would highly recommend it. 
Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video leave me a like leave me a comment let me know if you have one of these revolvers or if you have had one of these revolvers um what you think about them guys just let me know anyway i hope you enjoyed the video leave me a like comment perhaps a subscribe if you think the content is uh, worthy of it otherwise i'll catch you guys in the next video i appreciate you watching have a good evening and remember just keep shooting